we wanted to set up a page container and for this tutorial we're actually going to go through how to set up onboarding uh, just using the page container in creating a paged container let's add a new page so go to the pages set, select create new page let's give it a title of onboarding one go ahead and just create that blank template now let's go back and select our column widget let's drag that on and drag our row on and then go all the way down to this page view drag it over set the height to not 100% uh, maybe Let's uh, try 90 and then let's go ahead and select this container and we're going to just so we're, we're going to drag in I had designed onboarding screens in sketch and I'm just going to select those three onboarding screens and bring them on into uh, my flutter flow project we're going to let them load here as you can see the indicator dots down below we can adjust the design for those so I'm just going to set it to my theme the select one will be primary color. Um, let's go ahead and make them a little shorter and thinner. That's a nice look. Um, let's go back to the, that top section and add an image. It's expanded a little, but that's okay. Um, come down, let's go ahead and go to page two and set that image as well. Go to asset, not network, and then we haven't uploaded it yet, so let's just upload the image. We'll just do right there, that PNG. Cool. That's page one. Then you have to select the container again. Go to page three. You can add as many of these as you want. Right now, I just need three. Let's go to asset again and upload the other image. my three images now let's go ahead and set this and actually what we're gonna do is we're going to um, set this height at 100 and we're gonna change this box fit and I'm gonna show you how to do that cool so let's go ahead and select this image again middle section so I selected that we don't want to necessarily make the paged container itself um, smaller want to change the image itself so let's do fit width let's try that no we actually want to fit the height so let's go ahead and do that fit height. Boom. see now it looks a lot nicer let's go ahead and save the project and let's do that to the other pages so let's just select that come down here fit height go to page three or fit height again cool and actually we want to add a couple buttons down here so let's go ahead and drag a few rows in and let's go ahead and do a button cool so let's go ahead and select this image again the middle section so I selected that we don't want to necessarily make the paged container itself um, smaller we want to change the image itself so let's do fit width let's try that no we actually want to fit the height so let's go ahead and do that fit height boom see now it looks a lot nicer let's go ahead and save the project and let's do that through the other pages boom let's just select that come down here fit height go to page three Fit height again cool and actually we want to add a couple buttons down here so let's go ahead and drag a few rows in One there. let's go ahead and do a button now start off with a component here let's come over here and say create account all right let's log in so so let's uh push that and let's create our changes I'm just gonna click that to get to this page for now. And looky there, solid. Swiping through, login button's hooked up, create account button is hooked up. 
Perfect. There you go, an onboarding flow.